Time now for Travel Talk. Some major improvements are coming to Little Cottonwood Canyon, but that does mean some road construction. Here to tell us about the project, you that's John Gleason for our Travel Talk segment. Good morning, John. Thanks for doing this. Good morning, Sarah. Thanks so much for having me. Happy Friday. Yes, happy Friday. So Little Cottonwood Canyon, a lot of us love Little Cottonwood Canyon because that is the road to the resorts. So what's the goal here? What are we looking for? Well, in my humble opinion, we live in the best state in the country because of all of the out outdoor opportunities that we have here, Sarah. And little, big and little Cottonwood Canyon are, are uh, canyons that people flock to. They're a focal point for, for our state. Uh, for tourism and and gives people a chance to go hiking you know have a picnic climb or camp and so it's really important for us to to keep on top of all of the travel demands and make sure that the roads are in are in top shape for people and so we do have a, a few projects several projects underway in little cottonwood canyon this summer heading into uh, fall and we're getting them done right now sarah because it's just too cold up there most of the year and <laughs> And, uh, you know, it's as busy as it is right now, they're packed. Those canyons are packed in the wintertime for they skiers are. and snowboarders. I think we've all been stuck in some traffic, Little Cottonwood Canyon. You're not quite a Utah unless you've sat in that traffic a little bit during your life. Um, can you talk That's to me? Right. So this is really like making sure those roads are maintained well. Is that right? Or are we getting any kind of expansion there? Well, it, it is. It's about moving more people through the canyons, not necessarily cars, but more people so that they can enjoy the outdoors. And at the mouth of Little Cottonwood Canyon, sir, we're adding a merge lane to make it easier for drivers to connect to uh, to the canyon road there um, from from the uh, from the connecting road there. And then also nearby, we're working with uh, the Forest Service to build a new parking lot at the site of the old mill there. This parking lot's going to include 34 different stalls and uh, two, um, two stalls for uh, people with disabilities and also a restroom facility. And there's you know, more parking that's, that's uh, necessary in the area. And so we're going to uh, address that. And then farther up the canyon, Sarah, we're, we're still working on repairs. You, you may remember the, uh, the big mudslides that we had last summer. Yeah, those were Boy, intense. we're still working on repairs. <laughs> Those were some intense mudslides. Those, that video was pretty crazy. So you're going to be an opportunity for more carpooling, more um, travel up that canyon. Just make sure that people are kind of condensed and getting up there as safe and as quick as possible. Exactly. And that's that's just it. And, and trying to make uh, traffic flow a little bit smoother up there. We're also building new intersections up towards uh, Snowbird. Uh, they're called high T's and they're going to make traffic flow smoother and just make it easier for, for cars to merge back onto the canyon road there. Okay, so you said these are going to be done this fall. That's an awesome timeline. I think we can all be excited about that. What should people expect in terms of traffic if they're headed up the canyons in the next couple of months? Well, Sarah, we're, we're working on all of these projects uh, Monday through Friday because the weekends are so so uh, popular for people to get up there and, and uh, 6 a.m. in the morning until dark. So people should plan on 15 minute delays if they have to go up there during those work hours. And we're going to have flaggers and, and pilot cars kind of controlling all of those locations and letting uh, one direction of traffic move through at a time. And, and we're really encouraging cyclists to, to um, use caution when riding through the canyon. This is a popular area for uh, bicyclists as well. Got it. So just really be careful. Take your time in those areas. Watch for bikers and watch for those important construction crews. Exactly. And, you know, we have uh, we have some long term plans that are in place as well, Sarah. And we're, we're we know that there is a lot of people that are interested. And so we're asking people to go to the uh, website at cottonwoodcanyons.utah.utah.gov. That's a mouthful. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're good. We'll make sure to have that link on our website as well to direct people to all of those things if you want to see the latest on the project. Thanks so much, John. Really appreciate it. Have a good one. Thank you, Sarah. You as well.